G'day Travels and welcome back to our very first post-lockdown episode of Country Pubs. It's been 18 months since we filmed one of these and we're kicking off with an absolute ripper. We're in Central Tilba and we're at the Dromedary Hotel. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Susan, this is Jeremy and we own the Dromedary Hotel in Central Tilba. Um, we've had the pub for three and a half years, it's a 126 year old um, timber pub. The legend is that it's made out of old whaling boats from um, Birmingham Harbour um, and it was built uh, around about the time of a very brief gold rush. Um, pretty much in its original um, uh, kind of footprint, certainly not its original state which is lucky. Uh, it's been uh, quite an interesting three and a half years in terms of trying to do a, a, a very sensitive restoration of a building that is you know, locally important but also federally important. There's not many two-storey timber pubs um, left these days, so we've got to look after it. The old girl's hanging in there. Yep, um, these. We kind of see in the middle of town, um, Tilbury's only a little place, there's only a couple of hundred residents um, in central Tilbury itself. We've got a place called Mystery Bay down the road in Tilba Tilba, which often gets confused with Central Tilba for the obvious reason. Um, and uh, we kind of work, operate as a, as, as a local hub, um, but also for Tilba as very much as a, as a tourism destination. So, yeah, we've got a, a fantastic uh, chef and a really great kitchen team. We've got a, a really great menu. We're getting people coming from all over just to try the food. Um, we've also got um, a really kind of extensive gin list. We really we love our gins and we travel a bit, so whenever we find nice gins, we bring them back and we try them in the pub. Um, and also, Jeremy loves his wine, so we kind of pride ourselves really, um, on having uh, like a fantastic wine list, a fantastic gin list, but also very reasonably priced, um, so it's, it's accessible and um, really great quality. And um, we get constantly great feedback on the food, so we think we're becoming quite a food destination, really, in our, our own right. And we think that that's great for the town and great for the region. I think the other thing that's been interesting is lots of people saying, "Have you got your own beer?" And so we listened to that for a while, and we decided we'd better get our own beer. So uh, a few weeks ago, we launched to the Brewing Co, which has been. Um, uh, revelation. Um, we've got our first beer of pale ale, we've got an IPA coming, it's been absolutely running out the door and I think people when they come to the country they want to feel like they're getting not only the local food but also the local drink, the local gins, we've got a couple we make ourselves um, and also the benefit of chatting to the locals who are all extremely friendly, don't mind chinware. <laughs> I think that's one of the things we get a lot of feedback about is the tourists come you know and the locals are here and everyone just coexists, everyone's super friendly no one really cares who anyone is or where they're from, but they always like to have a chat and just everyone seems really approachable and friendly and we, we get that feedback all the time. It's a really welcoming place, um, Tilbury is anyway, um, but I think that the pub being the hub and the heart of the community here, and um, you know, we find that everyone sort of gravitates to the pub really and you know, that we, we get people coming back in and telling us they had some crazy times here in the, back in the day and I think it's changed a bit um, since, uh, since its heyday, but it's a very different sort of place now, but it's... Um, it's certainly um, got its own character now, and it's still got its own sort of um, personality, but maybe just a bit different than how it used to be in the olden days when things were a bit wilder. Um, it's amazing how many people come in and say they used to live here, or their parents used to own the place, or they manage the place. So it's, it, it, there's been a lot of people who have their fingerprints on the on the building um, that, and the business over the years. That's one of the great things about having an old building, because everyone wants to tell their stories about the building. So people who say they used to come here every year for their summer holiday with their family you know, for like 50 years, or there's a picture of my great granddad on the wall in the bar or something, and it's, you know, and then you get the, the related stories, you know, we used to live in the house next door or whatever, and it's, it's you know, there's, I just wish we could try and capture them a bit better because it's so interesting when they um, tell you their own take on their sort of Tilbury experience as well. I had a couple yesterday showing me a photo of them at the pub 40 years ago, which was the last time they came. 
And I said, how are we doing? And they said, it's a bit different. And I said, well, that's so I'm pleased to hear it. But they had their stories from 40 years ago of what they did when they came and who they spoke to. And some of those people probably aren't with us anymore, but they had this quite distinct memory. It was somewhere else. I think one of the other things that um, struck us when we first got into the pub was that um, all these people said to us, will you bring back the live music? And the, the pub has always had a tradition of having live music. Um, haven't got a very big footprint, so sometimes when it's uh, rainy, it's a bit exciting, squeezing people into the barn, but um, we took that on board and there's a tremendous um, range of local talent down here. I can't believe how many people are musicians. Um, lots of young kids coming through who've got amazing sort of talent, and whilst we're only a small venue, we think it's super important to be able to do that. Um, we provide a venue for them, so we've had quite a few of them, it's their first ever gig, and they've gone on in the last few years and really developed. It's great to see them playing other venues and around the region. Yeah. So the, yeah, the Sunday afternoon sessions, it's kind of synonymous with, with the pub now. For this summer we're actually going to have Saturday and Sunday afternoons. Yeah. Um, but just for the school holidays because there's so many people with kids and especially if they've been to the beach in the morning, they come in the afternoon and then they'll sit and have, uh, have some drinks and the kids will all dance to the music and, and then, then, then they hopefully they'll stay for dinner. So you know, it's, it's a great way of sort of holding people at the pub and everyone, something a bit different as well. Um, it really sums up like one of the, you don't buy a country pub like this if you want to make money, um, you do it for all the other things and, and the smiles on people's faces and the laughter and the, as you said, all the memories and all of the, that's, it's, it's just magical, particularly when the music's on and the vibe is fantastic and you just find yourself walking around with a smile on your face. A bit jealous that everyone else is having a bit rewarding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We always want to sit down with them and uh, watch the music, but we don't often get the chance. Work has to be done, yeah. but uh, yeah, the, the music's a pretty fundamental part of the place. And we get people coming down with a guitar and saying, Can I just play my guitar for a while, please? Yeah. Or I've played Not here, music. you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, this is a great place to play, you know, I just want to play here again. And um, we always go, Well, you know, it's a small venue, and they go, No, no, I love it, I love it, and they'll just, they'll just offer to play. So there's obviously a lot of perfection for the pub. Um, and you quite often get, particularly if there's local bands playing, they'll start out with three or four people on the stage and then the next time you go out there's five or six people <laughs> on the stage because someone went home and got their guitar or their harmonicas or whatever else and they decided to join in and uh, it's just, yeah, and they just kind of say this one's in C minor and we're going to do this and they just work it out. It's, yeah, yeah. Everyone claps and laughs and sings along and it's great fun. The drum, having a beer before we go in for a feed. Good. This is the, this is their IPA. I had one of their pale ales before I left. I tell you what, they're not a bad drop. Alrighty, yeah. So we're about to get into the food here at the Dromedary, and we're uh, getting into the calamari for entree. So I'm about to taste the Dromedary Hotel's signature rhubarb gin. I'll let you know in a second. Hmm, it's quite nice. Well, there you go, folks. The Dromedary Hotel in Central Tilba. A cracking little pub with fantastic food. Remember, if you like what we do, please subscribe on YouTube. Remember to hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. And we'll catch you all on the next episode of Country Pubs. Cheers, guys.